This is a screencast demonstration of the mail in vote extension for the Joomla platform. And in this screencast, I'll do a short demonstration of what mail in vote does and what it can do for you. So here is our Joomla admin panel, and I'm logged into the back end, and I've gone to the mail in vote screen. And we can see that I've already created a few ballots today. And what mail in vote allows you to do is to send polls over email to your users. And once they've responded, you'll see information like this. So here's the ballot results screen, and we can see the exact count of who responded which way, who's still undecided, what percentage they represent, that data visualized in various formats, as well as the number of users who removed themselves from polling after receiving the ballot, in this case one. We can also see individual votes, see who voted which way, and we can export those votes as a comma separated value spreadsheet, which you can open in LibreOffice or Excel or other popular spreadsheet programs. So it allows you to gather that information from your users, and you can also display it on the front end of your site. Such as here, we can see some poll results that I've embedded in an article. And you can also choose to have this style of poll results show up after users voted. So let's go about creating our first ballot. So I'm going to hit new. And this is the screen I'll see, and I'm just going to give my ballot a subject, which the ballot will be known as. So my subject is going to be, what do you think of this screencast? And once I've saved this ballot, the rest of the options will show. The most important part of creating a ballot is this area on the left, the content. And in this WYSIWYG editor here, this is where I will create the content of the HTML email that will go out. And I'm going to populate it with the choices that I want my users to have. And I do that here at the Add Choice area. So as a choice, I'm going to ask them what they think of the screencast. And they'll say, I think you're awesome. And they're probably right. I probably am awesome. Or they might say, you suck at screencasts. Totally valid. And they'll say, I think Melon Vote is neato. There we go. We have our three options. Now you'll notice after I created these choices, in the center here, they each populated with a unique secret code. And these secret codes are basically tokens or markers that we're going to put in our HTML email. And when that email gets sent out to each user, they're going to receive a unique link to vote for that particular choice. So I'm going to say, hello, my friends. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think of this screencast? And we'll let them respond in an unordered list. And all I'm going to do is for each choice, wherever I want it to show up, I'm going to copy and paste it into the contents of my email. Okay, so now we've created our ballot. And I'm just going to look on the right side at some other options we have. So for recipients, I could mail it to all users, but I have a lot of users on this site, and I only want it to be mailed to a few who are going to respond. So I'm going to mail it to Riley's Rangers. And if you play Fallout 3, you get the joke. <laughs> and if you haven't, you should check out Fallout 3. So that's recipients. We can mail to all users, or we can mail to one user group. For a response, we can display the a chart of the poll and basically show an aggregate of who voted which way, how many people voted this way, how many people that voted that way. That'll be displayed as a Joomla 1.5 style poll. 
or we can just redirect them to a specific page. For the response, if we were if we want to redirect them to a page, it'll go to that page, whatever whatever menu item we select here. But if we want to do, if we actually want to show them the results of that poll to this point in time, whatever menu item we choose here is going to be the page that's pulled in as that item ID, and that's just a complicated way of saying that if whatever page you choose, the modules for that page are going to be pulled in along with the ballot results. So it'll look the way it should for that template. Finally, we have the results. And it says, is this poll private? Now, an administrator is always going to be able to see the number of people who voted which way, what percentage they represent, and the charts. But if you choose to, you can make it so that they cannot see how individuals voted. So if I say administrators can see votes, which is the default, they can see who voted which way and download that spreadsheet I showed earlier. But if we say administrators cannot see votes, then when they go to look at that part of it, they'll just see a message that says, sorry, this is a private poll. You don't get to see which, which user voted which way. We're going to keep it so we can actually see who voted which way. So finally, I'm going to send out a test email to myself. And once I've sent the test email, I'll have the option to send the ballot to everybody. Just check my email box. So here we see it in our inbox. What do you think of the screencast? And we see the links have been switched out. So I could test any of these. And you can see that it goes to the Joomla 1.5 style poll and it pulls in the modules from the page I selected using Joomla. And if I wanted to, I could also test the blacklist and it won't have any effects, just like that vote won't have any effect. The blacklist is configurable. You can choose whatever cop copy you want put in here and also how long and to where the user will be redirected. So we like our poll. Now we want to send it out. So I'm going to hit send ballot. And this is a very small group. It was only about 10 people, so it sent really fast. And if we look, We can see three of them have already arrived. So I'm just going to load one up and say, I think you're awesome at screencasts. Ah, oh, one person said that. OK. You see we have nine voters. And one person. Actually, it's that same person. See, you suck at screencast now. It's because that person changed his vote by clicking the, a different link within the email. It wasn't added again. So we'll go to a different user and say, we're awesome. OK, so one and one now. And don't worry, I won't go through all the votes that are sent out. We'll do one person thinks mail and vote is neato. Okay. So back on the administrator side, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at our results and we see that the ballot's been added. What do you think of the screencast? Four of nine people have responded, which is 44%. And if we click in there, we'll see that data visualized, and we'll also see who voted which way and who still is yet to vote. So that's mail and vote. I hope that you consider purchasing it, and if you do, I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any ideas for ways that I can prove it or possible applications for it, I'd love to hear from you, either through the contact form or through the Code Haiku forums. Thanks for watching.